Cross-reference is a powerful tool of any PLC or a DCS software. Through cross-reference, we can enlist all the IOs, memories, digital and analog data used in any PLC program. So here I have a multi-project opened. This is a DCS project of a plant. We have six PLCs, main PLCs, a 7400. And to look for the logic, I have to go to the plant view. I will click on any particular PLC, for example, PLC3. I will go to any chart of the PLC logic. Double click. The logic of this particular PLC will appear now in the form of CFC, Continuous Function Charts. Well, once it, it has appeared, I will zoom it. even further so that we have a clear view of the blocks right uh, these are various blocks for example C annunciation block counter up or block uh, pulse timer T off and block etc so I want to go to the cross reference to look for all the IOs used in this logic in the logic of this particular PLC so I will click on this icon. You can have a look at it. Chart reference data. A new window will appear. To look for the addresses, all the addresses, I will click on this. Cross references chart element address. Click on it. It will retrieve all the IOs, memories, whether they are digital or analog right so now i maximize the window now the, all the ios have been retrieved right so i will click on this so that it arranges all the addresses in ascending form right so let's let me explain it uh, this is the symbol of each IO whether it is input output memory uh, the data type is bool against you know the digital inputs or outputs read write status the chart the specific chart in which that address has been interconnected with the blocks the chart element uh, and the specific block type has been mentioned uh, against each IO if I want to export well all these IOs in the form of an Excel sheet I will click on the reference data create export file I will save and uh, save it on the desktop I will give it a name for example IOs list of PLC 3 I will save it I will go to the specific file on the desktop to demonstrate further well this is the IO list of PLC 3 double click this is actually a comma separated uh, value file CSV file so I will have to work further on it in order to refine it well this is the you know this file is in the data is in scattered form I have to refine it so how to refine it I will show you that go to the data here text to columns well delimited next well the each element in this raw data has been separated by a semicolon I will click on the semicolon deselect tab next and finish well now 
the data has been segregated into each column respectively there's the symbol address data type read write chart chart element block type uh, element comment and block type right so you can save it even further Control s i will save it in the new format and this is your io list uh, not just input output list but also memory uh, addresses list of this particular plc right. going back to the cross reference list if i want to go to that particular address for example i uh, i 1.0 i will right click on it go to point of use it will carry me to this to that specific point where this input address has been used in the logic right so this i1.0 has been interconnected with the local start interface of the drive block so this was very simple example additionally through cross reference you can also look for all the block types used in the logic for that you need to click on this block types and after some time it will retrieve you all the blocks used in the logic of that particular plc in which you have opened the cross reference so here is how it has retrieved all of the blocks we have and blocks we have c enunciation c enunciation blocks damper blocks drive blocks and all the blocks used in the logic have been enlisted in this uh, if you want to export it follow the same procedure as we did for ios give it a name all blocks in plc3 save it just go to the desktop segregate or refine the raw data since it is a csv file so we have to segregate uh, click on this uh, column data text columns next the data has been separated by semicolons each element of the data so i will click on finish yes now the data has been refined for me all the blocks used in the logic have been enlisted so again you can save the file for your future references so this is how cross reference can help us in finding all the inputs outputs memories uh, used in the logic one more thing if you want to look for a particular input output whether it has been used in the logic or not you can just uh, find that particular io or memory address control f well i will look for i 10.6 uh, sorry i 10.5 from cursor position downwards and well it has been used at this at this specific location i 10.5 and it has been read since it is only input so it can only be read go to point of use now this specific input which i was searching searching for has been used in f23m c drive block and it has been used as a feedback run feedback signal that is coming from the mcc so this was a brief description about cross references if you have any further questions you can ask i will happily answer your queries and questions thank you for watching my tutorial about cross references